season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. Come on. Exclusively on the Parkville Network. Well, all right. Uh, 402-403-9478. Haven't caught up on some text messages and voicemails in a minute. Been a lot of stuff going on, so we'll grab some of those. Yeah, wow. Uh-huh. Have you tried the new soap yet? Uh, no. Oh my gosh. I got I new hand soap, new soap for the, uh, for the Parkville Media Studios. Mm-hmm. Um, What's and, the, fl- the flavor of choice? A, this is, well, I've got two new ones. I think this is kind of, cause I've washed my hands a couple of times. A combo? And I've used, well, like, yeah, cause one soap is in the bathroom. The other one's in the kitchen, which is like a kitchenette. And one is more like, uh, that that clean fresh linen or yeah. you know whatever Cotton breeze standing on the ocean whatever kind of thing and then the other one is rose okay. no lavender lavender and the two wow oh, we need to mix yeah. them up we had cider still in there it was yeah. still Christmassy I, Beth has it like in her calendar to flip the soaps in the house from oh Christmas my god to spring well see I was freaking out in here because. Oh, there are a lot of little things that I like freak out about. Girls are just but- weird. Just in general, I'm sorry. <laughs> girls are just weird because not no no man would ever think, holy blank, it's spring and I'm still using a Cider. winter. Oh my God. It's like, what? I get it. And it's great. It's It smells You appreciate good. it when it smells good. I do. I do 100%. Yeah, I was this, I'm the same way. So I go to the store. You know, right now is a bad time to try to flip out your hand soap. Yeah. Because everybody's yeah. buying. They don't care what it smells like. And they're putting it wherever. And there were literally like four bottles of hands, all different scents, three different brands sitting on a shelf where they weren't supposed to be. Ooh, like in the canned secret? Food, canned vegetable aisle. Like Easter eggs in a movie. And I'm just walking along. So I was looking for Fun. canned pumpkin because the organic canned pumpkin you can use like as a treat. The Lick It Buddy came in. Is it has to be organic? Well, it's better for them if it is because there's no ex- added sugars and stuff oh, like that. Got it. Um, so anyway, well, we as humans will, I, I just, I like Kroger brand half, blah. <laughs> but God forbid, let's give the dog organic. You'll eat but the I'll white eat, label pumpkin. I'll eat <laughs> pumpkin. And then in small parentheses, ish, ish, pumpkin ish. We talked about that, right? Yes. Cause it actually should be gourdish. Yes. It's I more know. like gourds. Anyway. Um, so I was looking for the pumpkin. Cause like I said, the look at buddy came in Yeah, and Jack loves the look at buddy. Yeah. And so I, I put canned food on it and I'm like, well, okay, we need something that's more of a treat. I'm trying to think what, and they said banana is good to use once in a while. It's all messy. It doesn't matter what you use. Right. So anyway, there I am looking for that, and there were... <gasps> like out of like, place. Right, it was like a little village Yeah. of outsiders, outliers. Yeah. I scooped them all up. So we've got, so it's lavender, rose, uh, something like... Fresh waters and then fresh linens. Okay. I don't know. And then there's whatever one to mix it up. Whatever it was. So whatever. I'm so happy just to have something so no, I'll different use it. to smell. I'll use it here as soon as we're done recording. Oh, Again, I'm going goodness. to I'll test it out. I will try it out. Very excited about yeah. that. So um, I got to make a quick correction. Okay. What? From yesterday's podcast. Okay. Uh, I misspoke and I, and I got a couple of uh, posts about it and somebody sent a link first about a story and then some other people had listened to the podcast as well. And this, okay, whatever. We were talking about the going to the salon. And I'd said something about that. I didn't think there was an order to close down the salons. And there is now as of just last week. Okay. And there was last week a raid, so to speak. It was it was raid light, but it was a raid on a local salon that was like in one of those buildings where you have a several different stylists in one building and they mm-hmm. all have their own bay. And she was coloring somebody's hair and somebody tipped off the feds. Well, I'm sorry, just the cops. Yeah. But somebody somebody narked on her. And so the cops show up with Mike McKnight in tow, apparently, because he had his camera, because he got to he got it, he got it all. And she's in the middle of coloring and they go to shut her down. And then you hear one of the police officers, what? I feel bad for him because they had to go do this, but their supervisor told him. Uh, you know, go ahead and let her rinse her. Otherwise, she'll probably, you know, burn her scalp because <laughs> she had yeah. hair color on her hair. They were going to just shut it off right there. I'm glad they like, didn't. That would have like, been terrible. You got to let her finish, just man. Pump. I mean, they even let meth heads put pants on when they arrested them <laughs> on cops. Let her rinse out the chemicals. Just let her rinse the stuff out. Yeah. We'll call it good. And they shut her down because somebody called it in that she was doing somebody's hair doing their hair color last week and apparently they she said I mean, she'd talked to the authorities earlier and they said that she had till about 7 or 8 p.m but she had to finish close of business that day and that wasn't the truth so i don't know if she was fudging or if somebody lied yeah 
That's too bad. Um, but Hopefully anyway, she's too much trouble. I hope not too. And I, and I feel bad for the person there getting their hair done. <laughs> well, it's embarrassing. Well, you know, uh, Becca, who we had on a couple of days ago on her Facebook page, she had posted, yeah, which is why this getting, all came up. Yeah. She'd been getting some messages from people that, Hey, can you come to my house and do it? You know, I want you to like, do it. And she could lose. She said like she would leg. She'd lose, she'd lose her license if she got in trouble, even doing yeah. it at somebody's house or yeah. having somebody come to her house. So yeah, just, it's, it's locked down. Just do that. Yeah. And so, and if you show up to work with perfect nails or finely colored hair, everybody's going to be suspect. Right. I'm just they'll, know you, they'll, know you, they'll know. Or the, <laughs> everybody has a guy. I'd want to know. If I was a girl that needed my stuff done and you had a guy, I'd be like, is somebody doing your hair? Yeah. yeah I want a guy. I, I get a guy. Need somebody who can, yeah, I just got to get my Fluff it up. Done. I need somebody who can do the dip in nails. Yeah. Because I, I think I can do it myself. I can see you can buy the kits online. Just try it. Um, and it's not real expensive. Maybe I should, I, but I'm not good at, at like filing and shaping and all no, that no, crap. Just try it. Give it a shot. You never know. You never know what you're good at till you have to be right? good at something. Yeah, this is true. And right? this is this is the time where people find out that they have skills they didn't know right. they had. We f- And we found out, uh, and we'll, at the end right? of this podcast, that um, a friend of ours, uh, Matt Raz, yes. who, who works at Crate and Prep, learned how to use Skype today because we Skyped him in. He's a me- he's a media media teacher. Matt Razgershek, as a matter of fact, from Creighton. And he had uh, never Prep. used uh, never used Skype. He made fun of us for it. <laughs> he so was making people fun of us new skills. It, calling it last century technology. It's like whatever. It's not either. It's not last century. It's like, be Is quiet, it? dude. It's not last century. They didn't have Skype in 99. If they know, if they did, it was awful. Right? They didn't, they didn't have Skype. No, they just had bad cameras on their, right. on their PCs. They didn't have that. <laughs> Right. With their AOL. Yeah. <laughs> or when you try to get a picture of a boob and it takes 15 minutes for it to, you're like, oh my God, look, there it comes. Here it comes. It's a boob. It's a Nelbo. Have you ever seen that movie, No mm-hmm. Way Out? Yes. That's one of my favorite movies, by the way, too. It's Kevin Costner movie where he plays a spy. Yeah. It's great and there's movie. a scene where they're waiting for a picture to develop on a, on a PC mm-hmm. and it's going back and forth, slowly developing the picture that they had scanned in. Yeah. And it's just like, you can't tell what it is because it's slowly filling in the pixels. Yes. Or I don't even know if they were called pixels then. They were. Dot matrix. They were still, they were still they were. pixels. They were still pixels? Yeah. Okay. It was slowly like coloring in all the, the blank spaces. It was enough to, per- oh my it was God. enough to uh, pacify 12 year old Pat. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. 402-403-9478. Get to some voicemails here. Um, from, uh, we'll do, you know, let's do voicemail. Let's slam in a voicemail quick. See what we got. Okay. This is from Diane. Hi, Ben, JT. This is Courtney. Um, I usually text, but this one's... This is from Courtney. <laughs> That's all right. It's easy to do. Easy right. to, easy to is mix it? those up. Long um, to describe, and so I figured I would just leave a voicemail. I'm list- I was listening to, I think, yesterday's podcast. One where you're talking about painting by numbers and painting and yes. abstract painting. Okay, so my cousin, hopefully she doesn't... I, actually, I hope she listens to the podcast, but I hope she misses this one. Um, she has like a really cool abstract painting above her bed in her room. And I was like, Oh, Hey, you know, I, I really like that painting. And she kind of blessed and she goes, yeah, that's our sex painting. And I was like, um, excuse me, what? what? <laughs> so apparently there is a company. I don't know all the details. I didn't ask a lot of questions because I was kind of in shock, Why? but you get a big piece of canvas and they give you paint. And you spread paint all over this canvas. I'm assuming you lay the canvas on your bed. And then you and your no whoever. Way. No way. Do whatever you want to do on the canvas and the paint. No way. And then you, it dries and you send it back and then they frame it. And so it's like this abstract oh, what? gobbledygook wow. of paint. And it actually looked really cool. I never would have guessed that those were their body parts smearing the paint. But... So that's something that you could do while you're quarantined, oh, you know, look that up. Oh my God. Um, like, that would be a fun rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. My mind just went to dirty places. Anyway, I'm going to end this message. Holy Have a great God. one. Stay healthy. Bye. Courtney, that could be the best voicemail we've ever received. That is oh, unbelievable. My. Can you imagine? Now, I think I've seen, you, you've seen before uh-huh. where like they would do it and then they they take their hands. Sure. Or, and I've seen movies where they did that too. And they rub their bodies on it. I've yes, never seen them not. actually... That is unbelievable. No, they're, I've, they're no. sex painting. Wow. Okay. It's our pic. That's our portrait of the park. Yeah. Right. Our park portrait. There we right? go. Right. Yeah. Kind of like a park. That's true. That would be okay. Um. This. <laughs> uh, and the reason why I said the first one is from Diane is because the 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 transcript mm-hmm. said hi Diane GT 
meant Pat and JT. I oh. didn't pick up so well on that one. Okay. Um, this is a text from Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Oh, hey, guys. It's Bailey. Bailey. I, I was just listening to season two, episode 38, and JT brought up the Hunt a Killer game. Yeah. I've always wanted to check it out, too. I went online, checked out their website. You can join the current season or order full past seasons. So since my mom and I are both teachers and bored out of our minds, we're done doing puzzles already, for God's sakes. I decided to order the entire season for us to do. There were only two options for the entire episode, so I went with class of 98 one. I'll let you know how it goes. That's cool. Thanks. Bailey. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Bailey. I, I can't wait. I want to know anybody else if, if you've done this, if you've done the hunt a killer, mm-hmm. not kill a hunter, hunt a killer, hunt a killer, hunt a killer. Um, what you thought of it. I mean, everything I've seen on it looks fun. Great reviews. Yeah. And it does. It looks like one of those things where it's like, everybody, shh, just let me look at this. And mm-hmm. you got all the clues. I want to do it. Um, we uh, got a text from our friend, Randy. Heidi's Randy, who thought Heidi had butch hair. I believe so. Heidi's Randy. I think so, yeah. Um, It says, hey, listening to today's episode and couldn't help but notice the shout out for my new bestie, Heidi. She asked for a pic of me, so here you go. Hopefully this puts puts, uh, to rest the little Randy feeds candy to kids in the van. For the record... I had to sell the van thanks to COVID nineteen and give my name and and given my name is Randall, <laughs> Randy, and I I don't know if this is really Randy or not. I highly doubt that's I Randy. Doubt that is. I highly doubt that's Randy. You got to do a Google search on that picture. I guarantee I you that shows up. Oh man, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> I want to know where it started. And we that's just get great. a random. T- this is Rhonda four zero two four zero three nine four seven eight. You guys mm-hmm. are killing me regarding the meat wrapped. Pickles, <laughs> the use of dried beef, hormel yeah. in a jar, lunch meat, bologna with peppercorns, delish. Anyway, right. forehead slap. I'm I'm <sighs> totally listening to today's podcast. That would be 1212. This is a long Back time ago. Away. Yeah. She was listening to that episode in slow motion. It's hilarious. And then she yeah. randomly this past Wednesday texts us, Mickey Rourke, <laughs> <laughs> store limits, gallons of milk. <laughs> so you. You, you were trying to think of that and I she was, just I was killing myself. threw it out there. I appreciate that. Um, okay, uh, let's see. We need to have like a studio. Is there like a, not a studio line? Cause we, well, not, no, not a studio line. Cause we're not here when you're actually listening, but like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. So we can talk to people. Just to just, you know, like, I don't know. We'll figure, we'll it, figure out. it out. I mean, it's, there's stuff out there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I wonder this is from Monica. Um, she said, I wanted to text you a day early uh, as, th- as I think you do your podcast a day in advance, which we do. Mm-hmm. Um, so this was, oh, oh come on. I'm going to read. That's not, that was, I didn't see this oh, one from before. Wow. This was from happy birthday, JT, it says. <laughs> but this one, this other one, sorry, Monica. Uh, Monica says happy birthday. Thank you, Monica. Uh-huh. This is from this week, though. Um, says, I thought of Pat as soon as I read this. Relax, Karen. It's a little meme. Says, everyone's freaking out about the National Guard in their towns. Relax, Karen. It's not the SEAL Team 6. That's <laughs> Kevin, the bartender from Applebee's, drinking a white claw and driving a Humvee at 9 a.m. They aren't coming for your 86 rolls of toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, that's funny. That's funny. That's good. Oh. I like that. Thank you, guys. So 402 403 That's okay. how you can text us. You can voicemail us, all that kind of fun stuff. There's a video that's out there. I think we've probably reposted it already. And if, if it's, well, who knows? It's it's adjacent somewhere in our timeline or with this post yep. about the the all the businesses. And when we talked to our buddy Matt also from Creighton Prep, um, everybody, a lot of people are having to get good real quick at tech. Right. And working from home. And group meetings. I mean, some people doing it for fun, having the virtual happy hours. Some people actually having meetings. And there's a great video that's floating around. No idea where it's from. The description was really shut. You don't need a lot of description. It doesn't matter where it's from. But there were about 16 people on the screen. Somebody's doing a presentation. You got somebody driving with their phone sitting the handle. You know, she's got it right there, you know, so she can kind of listen to it. Everybody is visible on screen, but 90% of them aren't paying attention to the fact that they're actually being watched. Yeah. One woman is walking around her house doing some things. She's holding her hand, holding the phone in her hand, and she goes into the bathroom, sets the phone down toward her on the floor, and then proceeds to sit on the toilet. It's hilarious. To pee. And all of a sudden it gets, and then you hear giggles, and you see faces. Yeah. Going, oh my God, did you? And hands covering mouths. Right? Yeah. And she all of a sudden noticed. And she slammed, and it was a laptop, I guess. She slammed the laptop shut and disconnected. And probably quit her job. 
I would have quit my job in a, well, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have cared, but I bet she probably quit her Probably job. would have. You came real close to having that happen to you. Yeah. Did I tell this story on the, on I don't the, know. I, I don't know if I did or not about, I was going, spending some alone time with myself in the bathroom, dropping, you know, just going to the bathroom. Yeah. I think I, I think I did tell did this, you story tell this story. Did you tell this story? There was a podcaster that we have, on, we, that way I follow a podcast guy and um, he was started an Instagram live. I got in right at the beginning and I'm, he like looked at my name. He goes, Pat, it's a boy, Pat. So, oh, oh okay. podcast production company. And he added me when you're doing Instagram live, you can add people. You can request to see if they want to join your, your live. Right. So I'm sitting there mid download. <laughs> right. And right. I'm like, and he, I see the invite and I'm like, oh no, I can't not do it. Right. So I stand up, oh my God. turn around and talk to him. And I didn't tell him what I was doing. I said I was hiding in the bathroom just to get away from the kids. Quarantine, that explains blah, blah. the shower curtain. I didn't say I was <laughs> dropping anchor. <laughs> so, the reason why I bring it up is because mm-hmm. we've heard this story like, two or three times from other people. One most recently from one of our podcasters here at Parkville media mm-hmm. talking about, wasn't it his son's group that was doing something that he was just telling us about and that that oh, happened yeah. to somebody that they went into the bathroom. Yeah. During class. Yeah. And they just, were, they were online during class. Didn't, I mean, Hey, it's all learning curve when it comes to this, this stuff, it's a learning curve. You forget that you're yes. on video. And a lot of times on phone I do, I'll just, cause I'm sitting there just talking. I'm not really paying attention to the video. Mm-hmm. And then you take off walking to go do something, set your phone down and do whatever. And, and you're, yeah, you're on. And you're on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just be uh, careful. Beth was there. on a, a group meeting a lot. This was gosh, two years ago. And one person on there was, I don't know if the person was supposed to be home or not home, whatever, it didn't matter. But she was, you could tell, tell she was outside. She had a sun hat on and she'd be taking sips while they're on this whole group meeting. And a- after about, I don't know, 10 minutes, all of a sudden her, whoo, it went black. So somebody probably texted her. Not and a good said, look, Karen. Uh, hey, Karen. <laughs> That's if awesome. your name's Karen, I'm really sorry. <laughs> well, I have, we have a friend named Karen. So I, do, I, yeah. I do too. I'm just thinking yeah. that and she's nothing like that. No, nothing at all. Um, one other point too, when we were talking to Blaine at uh, Porky Butts. Uh, got a notification also in the last couple of days uh, about the curbside stuff mm-hmm. and give credit where credit is due. Uh, Blue had shut down for a while, the Blues, you know, because they were trying to make sure they were keeping everybody safe. And they were really happy to announce that they're doing uh, limited menu, limited hours, Good. but doing curbside at OG and, and Legacy. There we go. That's awesome. Good for those guys. Yes. Um, Glad to see it. So now, and then some of the uh, teachers are some of, anyway, just the hardest working people on the planet. I don't know how the hardest jobs in the world. Talk about having to make in a general, quick turnaround. I mean, in making their job even more difficult, connect, connecting with kids that aren't in your actual yeah. classroom, I would think would be extremely difficult. So in the vein of we've been checking in, kind of checking on people that we know that have been on our show or been in our lives just to see how they're doing. And it's, it's crazy, the diversity of jobs and fields. And so from the teaching world, we talked to our buddy, Matt. What's Yay. up, Raz? <laughs> how are you? Doing okay. Doing okay. We're yeah. Honestly, just wanted to check in with you as a member of the teaching community. And uh, what's going on? I know there have been some real, as the, as the, the, the what's the catch word is the pivots, some real hard pivots. <laughs> let's use that word. Yeah, let's use that word. <laughs> That's a clean word to use. Right? So adjustments. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been crazy. Like, honestly, I kind of forget what day it is. And, and, and going, so we started, we had spring break. Um, and that was, and the only way I can mark that were like, like on that Wednesday when they, cr- when they canceled the Creighton game at, at halftime for the big East. Wasn't mm-hmm. that crazy? I was on the, I was on the golf course. Cause I also, you guys know, I, I coach, I coach, uh, our golf team and I'm like, this is not a good situation. So we were on spring break. So, you know, when they shut everything down and said, and then our principal said, we need to come in. And it, honestly, I, 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 uh, the description that I, that I saw on, Twitter or Facebook or whatever was like the Apollo 13, this whole thing. And that's what we did. That's what we had to do on Monday. We were just kind of like, and I was really impressed by like the whole team was just like, this is how we got to do it. It wasn't like, Oh, you know, it wasn't like, Oh, poor us or something like that. It's like, we need to do this for the kids. This is, this is something we need to do. So that was, but it was still surreal. That day was whole six. I live stream. I held live stream for staff that wasn't there because they were either, either out of town uh, not necessarily out of town, but they were in self quarantine. I had where a couple teachers that were, that were in, that were traveling in Europe 
there was one that was out of the country. There was even some that went to DC that came back. We're like, eh, we're just going to stay home. So we had to live stream half of it. Yeah. It was just, it was surreal. It was really, and just the whole vibe was just. How have the kids kind of taken to this e-learning thing? Yeah, hold like on it, one second, because something we didn't do okay. was introduce who we're talking to. Oh, got it. Okay. And- <laughs> <laughs> this is Raz. Everybody knows who is Everybody Raz. Everybody knows who Matt, right? Matt. Hey. Raz. Okay. Hey, right, right. No, what is your official title now? Because um, my official title, I am a media digital media instructor at Creighton Prep. Who we had to talk through downloading Skype and installing. <laughs> just saying I mean, administration at We didn't talk Prep. you through, we just sat back and watched. We did other kind of uh, kind of interactions we can do, but yeah, let's use the one that's <laughs> you don't been have. around since 1984. <laughs> let's do that one. Fax us next time, and we'll put that fax online. <laughs> I'll take a carrier pigeon and send yeah. it over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to get back to Pat's question about the kids, oh, the e-learning man, because oh, yeah, my, right. my kids are in the you know they're in the midst of this e-learning thing and having to log in at specific times during the day, and if they don't have to be on until 11 30 12 1 then they think it's sleeping in until 11 29 and right. just be, you know so hello man they are, <laughs> how are your kids handling it like like my students or my two kids Both. Both. that's two that's two different worlds oh, right let's talk professionally first yeah we can assume <laughs> with, we can assume personally <laughs> right um so um so like professionally it's an adjustment like the kids know like they've done facetime and stuff like that so they get it but this whole Zoom thing is because we use Zoom like a lot of schools are, and then they want to change their virtual backgrounds and stuff like that. So I think it, like like the first time I met them, um, a it was really weird because it's a obviously a totally different dynamic. But it's just good to see them, right? And the yeah. first time I met with them was like ten minutes, like, "Hey, how are you guys doing? Yeah. You know what's changed?" And they're like, "Everything's changed," yeah. you know. And, and but it was just kind of good to just to talk to them. So that's the first thing I did. It was just kind of make sure the tech worked, and it did. Um, Funny story, my Wi-Fi router blew out literally 20 minutes before class. The lightning hit it. Of course. That was fun. Of course So I had kids checking in through email. Anyway, that's another story altogether. Of course um, it did. It was good good to see them, you know. Um, And then once we got in, you know, and they really haven't gotten into a groove because I'm only going to Zoom conference with them once a week. Because I think it, it's my, I guess my opinion, it's it's kind of overkill for for what I do. I'm right. not saying that I'm doing it better than anybody else or anything like that, but it's kind of overkill. Um, but it's an adjustment. Like you know, uh, my my, I'm looking at my schedule because I don't know it yet. <laughs> my third period class, a lot of bedhead. I said, let's meet at ten o'clock, and like nine fifty nine, my window says, yeah, nobody's. No, you're the only person in the chat room, right. and then ten o'clock, I get flooded with like eighteen. You know, like admit, 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 admit. A lot of bed head. I see. I've seen a lot of bedrooms. That's Aww. awesome. So, but I think they're getting used to it. I think. I think right now there's a novelty to it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where, and I think after a while it's going to be like they need in human interactions. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So that's just my guess. But well, I can't imagine not being able to have this as a tool when this is going on and not being well, able to check in. Right. And like, you know, I can do it like, so like my, inter, my advanced kids are working on the yearbook. So that's a whole different level of, of what are we going to do? And then some of my, obviously another, and my, my intermediate kids are doing, um, kind of, uh, you know, c- cover coronavirus as best we can. And then my intro kids are learning how to do video. They're like I, I literally started a unit right after spring break and I'm like, they got to use their iPads because they can't use our equipment. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, a, it's a totally different type of teaching. That You're we're teaching just workarounds, man. You really yeah. are. I mean, you really have to. Like I, I couldn't do a math. I couldn't, yeah, well, I couldn't do math even in school. Anyway, right. <laughs> with <laughs> but, all the tools at your disposal. I get it. I'm there with you. Like science, <laughs> you left your beakers at school. Right. <laughs> and on my burner, my Bunsen burner. <laughs> There's some amazing teachers out there that are that are yeah. finding workarounds, and I'm just I'm impressed by them. Like I don't know how elementary school teachers do it. I have no idea. I That's don't true. Well, what ages are you working with primarily? Um, freshmen through seniors. So okay, so looking at it, it's kind of a twofold question, but um, is there anything that you wish? Uh, that, that you would you would say okay this could make it easier if I could get the kids to do X Y Z, or is there and then also looking at other teachers, um, any of the teachers you want to like point out you don't have to name names but just like how they've overcome some of these circuits like you mentioned grade school for Pete's sake how do I you even keep think them? about grade school how do you keep their attention I have no 
Yeah. I mean, you know, I went into one elementary school class once and all eyes were on me. I'm like, this is not my, this is anyway, that's not, that's another story. I want but, them all to ignore me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just don't, why are you all looking at me? Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's, it's an adjustment for everybody, right? Like I teach an elective, you know, um, I'm just slowing my pace down like a lot. I want to make sure that the kids are healthy. I want to make sure that they're present. I want to make sure they get into a routine, at least for me. Like I said, I'm, I'm different. I'll worry about a yearbook. I'm not the only yearbook that's not going to get published by, by June. I'm mm-hmm. not. Right. And, and, and that's, a, that's another layer of stuff. <laughs> you know, some, some, I know, I, I know the teachers that I, that I know at, at, at my school and others are like connecting with the kids. Like, here's my dog. Aww. You know what I'm saying? Like little stuff like that, like, like, like at the end of class, we're just going to let you guys just, cause a lot of, a lot of the teachers will mute cause they have like a 30 kids. So they'll just mute them all and get through the, get through the content. Yeah. Which you kind of have to screaming, do. Screaming. You, know? you can't hear them. God, I wish you could just mute all children at all the whole time. My colleagues said she muted the last five minutes and they just did it cause you know, when you're at preps and all boys school. So there's like trash talking and stuff like that. And she says it was the best thing ever. Oh. <laughs> Just, you know, I think you just said something and I was talking to a buddy of mine the other day who's a teacher and he was kind of saying that this is creating a closer, even though you're farther away, a closer one-on-one bond with teachers and students because you have direct contact with them in their well, personal spaces Yeah, and that, that never would have happened. They don't pay attention well, in school. There's distractions. Before. Think about that too. It flies in the face of what the rules were before about social media um, right. because you couldn't have that contact right. on social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's 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 I I the cynic in me says when's that going to wear off, and then it's going to be like, you know, we're then we're going to have to do as you said another pivot. Okay, now they're kind of like, how do you? But there's so many if you crowdsource, and there's so many good ideas out there. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be I I can't I'm I'd be foolish to say I'm going to get through all of my material by whenever that is by May. There's, it's, it's, I, I think for me, it's kind of like, there are going to be so many, you just got to be, and that's, that's the beauty of my colleagues, the colleagues that, that I know and respect can pivot on a dime, you know, wow. that's, that's what you got to do. But what if so. the kids like struggle, like if you have a child that's not necessarily in your class, but in other classes that's struggling and this is making it even harder for them. And is the state going to look back and put a little asterisk by the grade or help get extra help so they can get past this. They're not going to have to retake a semester because of this. I honestly don't know. I mean, there are some kids that don't have access I was to just gonna ask that. internet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they can't afford that. You know, right. um, do they go to their pu- public library and latch onto their Wi-Fi? I mean, what, and they've got other things, you know, yeah. there's, there's that, there's that thing you got to look at in terms of learning. Boy, I don't know. I mean, that's, that's uh, they're, they're writing They're they're, I mean, and, and I, I give the director, the director, the commissioner of ed and, and yeah. governor and our, our admin. It's like, we just don't know. They're trying Right We're as they trying. go along, we just don't know. Mm-hmm. You it's know. true. I it's never. Like a, this is like the longest worst snow day ever. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I mean, it's you know? and when you bring up the whole fact of kids not having internet, going to the library really isn't an option right this minute because right. of you know the physical distance. I hate the phrase social distancing. I like, I I prefer physical distancing. I'm like, cause social distancing sounds like we were talking about this. It's like, you see somebody, you don't want to look them in the eye. You're just like, don't, don't, don't come any closer. Don't, you know, but you don't need to, it's just the physical part of it, but it's got to make it harder for them is like going to the public library, you know, can you do that? Like I said, we're all just kind of like, all right, what's it going to be like this week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it changes every day. If you think that you're going to get through all your material by May, I think that's myopic at best. You Cut know, yourself you some got, slack. Just, yeah. I, yeah. I think that's the thing is like, it's at least, and I can only speak for journalism advisors mostly. It's like, well, what are we going to do this? How are we going to teach? It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Just take it down a notch. It'll be fine. The kids are good. You know, just, just pace yourself and make sure. And for, the other thing is we need to be okay. You need to take care of ourselves. Do you too. guys have a social group where you're getting together with other teachers? Oh Yeah. Oh yeah, um, you know, <laughs> is that called happy hour online? Virtual happy hour, yeah. <laughs> um, but I mean, like you know, and and it's it's crazy because like I have a lot of colleagues from around the country, um, you know, and whatnot. So we'll, it's like we've been t- group texting for years, and then yeah. it's like, hey, let's get on a Zoom conference call, and we've done that, and that's, that's a lot awesome. of fun. Yeah, it is you fun. Know? 
That's a, there and could be we'll, some positives that come out of this. They're really I mean, good. I mean, we talked to Blaine yeah. Hunter from Porky Butts the other day, and his industry is compl- I mean, his business has completely pivoted to um, they weren't going to do takeout curbside for a while. Now they're doing that, and that's a huge revenue stream for them now. So when this all yeah. passes, that's going to be a huge thing for them. So maybe with the edu- with education and you guys just forcing online. yourselves to do online stuff now will help next year or the year after well, because of what we learned. Snow days are out. Yeah, do something that's right. Funny. That's awesome. <laughs> no, Think it's not. <laughs> yes, that's awesome. That's awesome, right? <laughs> so, no, it, it, we just kind of kid around about yeah. that. Well, our snow days are pretty much done. Yeah, so, right. How are your kids doing now? Let's get back to that to your own personal I, family. How's it rolling? My, my two, I got a, I've got a daughter. I've got a, a, a sophomore. Um, she's doing okay. I, I've seen her. Yeah. <laughs> She exists. I mean, she comes down for dinner and says, I don't like what we're having, and then goes back upstairs. Oh, my so God. That's awesome. Does so Sophia that's pretty, come over there? Because that's exactly what my, my daughter's just almost a sophomore. She pretty hates. much on brand, quarantine or no quarantine. Un- that's pretty much on well, brand. Unbelievable. Un- I don't know how teenage girls can hate every piece of food you make ever. It's easy. <laughs> ever. They don't girls, like it. Girls are girls. And even, this is my favorite last day, or last week, Dad. Not anymore. I was like, oh, well, okay. Yeah. Uh, my, uh, my son... Um, he's fine. Uh, his room is an absolute, I don't know. It's kind of funny. It's like his room is an absolute pit, like an absolute pit, but he, he like, you know, he, he zooms from the room. Like the only, like the only small square that's not messy that's all that matters. is where, is where he's zooming. So that's his background. Fun. That's all that matters. The rest is an absolute pit hole. Yeah. Like, hey, you guys, and then they, they just stay in the house. Like, do you guys, you guys want to go out? No. Not really. It's like, no, we're going outside. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to go shake you out just a little yeah. bit. Blow it off. Yeah. Cause seriously, <laughs> go, just go run like your six year old. Just run for 20 like, seconds. Oh my God, guys, there's a wind. It's 20 yeah. miles an hour. Go stand go, on the deck. Please. <laughs> Something. Well, Raz, you're awesome. Thanks for um, taking the time to do this before you teach you this invite. morning. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, no, just wanted to check in and, and see how things were going on your end and, uh, any words of encouragement you wanted to throw out or anything for the students or teachers? I think I, uh, I don't just, I mean, just go at your own pace, right? I mean, go with what you're comfortable with. If you're not comfortable with technology, then baby step it. If you are, then go for it, you yeah. know, and, and, and make sure, I guess I might, if I'm going to jump on a soapbox, make sure the kids are okay first, then, then you, and then worry about your content. Yeah. And then, good. cause you know, that's just my, my two cents. And we're all yeah, figuring so. it out together. It's not like, yeah, yeah we're true. all on the same page yeah. when we're not on any of the same page. We're on Nobody's the same page. judging. Yeah. yeah so. That's it. Good deal. Well, have a great day at school. You do, <laughs> you do the same. I'm going to jump onto some technology that was built in the 2000s now. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Someday we'll have you come over and teach us that crap. Yeah. <laughs> please. Show us what that is. Social distancing. You got it, right? Uh, Thank you so you much, Matt. Bye bye. Pat and JT podcast. A Parkville Media Production.